We're in Boulder, Colorado, underneath the beautiful Rocky Mountains. But we're not on vacation. We're here to have our grommet manufactured. We're sitting here in the conference room with Steve Hirsch from Hirsch Precision Products, seeing how our grommet is going to be manufactured. Yeah, and we've uh, taken our drawing in the last video. We had a little cartoon picture of the grommet, and now we have formalized the drawing, and we have put a title block on it, uh, formalized the drawing, uh, give uh, Steve a model, and we have also have a 3D printing of the part. And we come to talk about, uh, Steve, uh, you've, you've had a chance to look at this drawing, and. Uh, wonder uh, how the geometric tolerancing looks. I know you're an expert. Uh, he has his geometric tolerancing uh, standard, ASME standard, and the Fundamentals Geotel Pro book. And uh, maybe uh, tell us what you think of the drawing. The drawing was excellent. Uh, the datum structure, the way you have it laid out, was very clear how this part is going to function. And uh, it, we, we could identify easily the, the surfaces that have uh, important profiles, tight tolerances, and those that were less critical to you. So uh, that, that made it very easy for us to settle on a, on a manufacturing process. What did you come up with for this one? Well, that looks good. That's ideal. That looks good, doesn't it? Sounds great. So I think you'll have us ready for a couple weeks then. We will be ready for you. Would you guys like to see the shop before you head yeah, out? Yeah, we would. We'd like to take a little quick uh, view of the shop. Can we go out there? Excellent. Let's do that. Okay. Well, here we are back at Hirsch two weeks later. While I was out at the machine, I thought we'd sit here with our programmer, Rick, and he could show us how the CNC programming works. I'll show you how we proceeded with that. We imported the model in, examined it, compared it to the print we had, make sure everything matched, brought all my tools in, defined them, started defining my tool paths. And here we can see we faced the part. We're roughing it out right now. Well, I can see how important the integrity of the model is, making sure everything is built to the mean of the dimensions. It makes it a whole lot easier to program and get a consistent part of, off every time. And basically that sequence is done. So now you have the second operation to do the backside then? Yes, correct. Here's our second operation. We just flipped it over. We'll run through this simulation. Here's our excess material. Just need to machine the excess off the outside. Face one it and for it. One final thing for that data man. And it's done. All right, Rick, that looks great. Well, let's take a look at what Al's doing over near the machine. I'm out in the shop here with the machinist, Mamtaz. Uh, Scott was back in the programming, sent the uh, program down to the Acoma 3 axis, and we're going to see how the part is produced now. Montaz, could you show us how this thing works? Absolutely. We are making this part out of two sequences. As you see, sequence one is on the far side. Just out of the machine shop with Al seeing how the part is to be produced. So now we're in the inspection lab here with Gary, and he's going to show us a little bit on the CMM program. Also, we have a uh, print to show uh, all the different bubbles that will have to be inspected and all the different features that will have on a CMM program. So we brought in the model here that we're using in manufacturing. We're going to use that as we set up our inspection as well. Uh, I can pick out the planes to pick out the datums, datum A and then datum B and C here. And I set up the features as I'm going to draw, uh, inspect them, and then the characteristics match up with the bubbles on the print. Okay, so after I have it going, I can watch it go. You can see how it is going underneath. Get the results here, and it lines up with the bubbles on the print as well, with the features, nominals, and actuals over here. 
Okay, that looks great. Let's see it run in real life. Well, this is the Zeiss machine, and it has the program imported from our Calypso software. Now, I noticed that you rested the part on a couple of pedestals there. What are those for? Uh, so that we can access data may underneath the part and still have room to inspect the rest of the part as well. I noticed that you're also using a star probe instead of just a single probe. And so that we have access to these points underneath with these side probes, and I don't have to do a tool change to go to a separate one. So you can see here that the profiles are in tolerance. Well, we have the CMM report here. It looks like everything is well within the tolerances, all green. I think this looks great. Thanks a lot, Gary. Thank you. We're at the final stage here of uh, manufacturing the part. We're now here after anodizing, and we're going to see the laser marking. Boy, these parts really look nice. I uh, really appreciate you uh, taking us through the whole process, you know, from design to manufacturing to quality. And uh, they uh, sure that they met our design requirements. Uh, we looked, looked at your inspection reports and were really pleased. It's, uh, the anodizing looks beautiful on them, uh, the laser marking. I really appreciate it. It was a good job working with a real professional. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was very fun. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, parts look great. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thank you, Scott. See us on the web at www.geotal.com.